Hello, my name is Dr. Teresa Cullen and I'm chair of the ISTE 2019 Research Strand. Uh, I am so excited that you're going to be part of the research agenda at ISTE and I wanted to tell you a few things to really help you get the most out of this experience. The first thing is I want you to log in to conference.iste.org. Then you'll see that you have a presenter menu. When you go to the presenter menu, you'll have several options. You'll see your accepted proposals, and then it'll also give you the option of being able to edit, but also being able to upload handouts and resources to the digital tote. When you upload those resources, they'll be available to everyone. And we all know that we don't have a lot of room in our luggage in order to carry big copies of paper. So you can just upload those to the digital tote. In addition, if you click on your accepted proposal, it will take you to the proposal submission form. So if there's a mistake or you want to include a link, you can do this here as well. Just click on edit X after each section. To get an idea of what the user sees, click on digital tote and then explore sessions with resources. So I know that Beth Holland has already uploaded some resources, so I'm looking for her name. And I find her two research papers. I click on one that interests me. And then as I scroll down, you'll see that I can add her paper and materials to the digital tote. This will allow me to keep these and look at these after the conference is over. In addition, you'll also see how your profile is viewed by others. So this is a great way for you to look at what you need to edit. You might be wondering what might be a good thing to upload. Remember that ISTE is different than other conferences because you are connecting with actual teachers, not necessarily just researchers. In addition to the paper, especially if you have a full paper session, which are highly competitive, what I would love to see you do is to make a quick one page handout. The way I would do it is have a title of the presentation, then the APA citation so someone could cite me easily, a summary of the findings or perhaps your abstract, implications and ideas for classroom practice, and then perhaps additional readings or ways that they could learn more. Remember, this is a great opportunity to have your research be translated into practice. There are three types of research sessions, papers, roundtables, and posters. If you were fortunate enough to get a paper presentation, it's very important that you upload your paper so that others can read it and cite it. You're likely to be arranged with three other papers in one hour. So each paper will have about 12 minutes to present and two minutes to shuffle. We will have a person in the room who will be watching the time to make sure that everyone gets their fair amount. All presenters are asked to attend the entire session. This will allow us to be able to accurately ap uh, estimate the time and encourage dialogue between related papers. When you speak at ISTE at a research paper, you'll be standing in front of the audience with a microphone and you'll be able to present on your research for that 12 minutes. The other presenters will be waiting to present their research as well, and they are related topics. Don't forget your audience, as they will be sitting and wanting to hear from you, but also perhaps wanting to ask questions. Remember, they can download the full paper for all the details, share the most salient points. If you were lucky enough to get a roundtable presentation, congratulations. For roundtables, these were the most popular sessions last year. You will be arranged at a table and there will be four other tables that have other papers at them on related topics. You will have the full hour to present, but know that people may flow between related tables. Roundtables offer the opportunity to have a discussion with the people who come and attend your session. So don't waste that opportunity and maybe think of some discussion questions you would love to engage them with. Some roundtables may be small, 
but other roundtables may grow larger as people are interested in your topic. However, in all roundtables, people are interested in hearing what you have to say and interacting with you as an expert in the field. Finally, you may have been given a poster presentation. Please look at the schedule to see how long that session is as they vary across the program. You will be given a place to stand where you can hang up a poster about your research or show examples, and you will be mixed with non-research presentations. What a great opportunity to have others that normally aren't reading research learn about the work that you do. I hope that demystifies some of the issues that you might be having as you prepare to present your research at the ISTE 2019 conference. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me, Teresa Cullen, at tacullen at ou.edu. Thank you for participating in research at the ISTE 2019 conference, and I look forward to meeting you.